Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm here with the Broadbeam S9W. And the W stands for Wi-Fi. It's one of those little foldable quadcopters with Wi-Fi FPV. It also has altitude hold and a 0.3 megapixel camera right here. So let me unfold this thing. Gotta be careful. I guess you fold in the back ones first and then the front ones. So you unfold the front ones first and then the back. And here we go. Nice little size, nice little pocket drone. Nice. So, um, yeah, you can also fly this thing with uh, your phone app, which is pretty cool. It has an on off switch, which is cool. Uh, seven minute flight time. And uh, it says it has about a 50 meter range, which is really good for a quad of this size. And a 30 minute. 30 meter Wi-Fi range. So after 30 meters, it's, I guess it gets pretty choppy. All right, let's see the other content of the box. All right, so you got a remote here. Um, the sticks feel pretty good. And you got a couple of bumper buttons here. The left is for the rates, and the right is for flips. And you got a one key return on this thing. I'm not sure yet which one it is. And uh, you got a headless mode also, headless mode. And you have an emergency stop button, I think this is the bottom left, not sure. And a takeoff button. Um, like this, it just takes off if you auto, st auto start and take off. So which is pretty cool. All of this packed into this little, little quad, which is cool, man. I like that. Also, this is a, it takes three AAA batteries. I've seen a few reviews on this and uh, pretty cool, man. I like it. And uh, I'm not sure if I said this already, it has a 7 minute flight time, supposedly, which is kind of hard to believe since it's such a small quad with Wi-Fi. So, I'm going to take a quick flight in the man cave here with the app, phone app, and uh, with the remote. Oh, I didn't even show you the other contents of the, the box. Okay, this is the, the clip phone clip. I guess you just clip it on here and put the screw back there. And four extra set of props, charging cable, and the screw. I think the screw, yeah, you would screw the phone clip on the back there. And the screwdriver. Alright, sit tight guys. I'm going to get up in there in the man cave. Alright? Alright guys, I'm going to test this thing out just with the remote alone. All right, let's do this. Okay. Pretty steady. That's nice. Altitude hold. Coming back, let me trim it forward a bit. There we go. Not bad. This is the on first rate. I like this thing, man. It's pretty smooth. Look at that. Very steady. Actually needs a little bit of trimming. Straightening out now. Nice. Alright. I'm gonna... Put my phone on this thing and test out the video. All right. Alright, so I'm going to try to fly this thing with my phone. I already brought the app up. Hit play. Alright, so I'm going to put it in G-Sensor because this room's kind of small to be using these virtual sticks. So 
Um, this, nope, that's not the button. Okay. All right. We hit start. Let's see what happens. Woo! Okay, got the gyro G sensor working. Forward, back, left, right, left. Not bad. Let me see. Well, not bad. All right. Since I know the phone app works, when I get some practice in, I'll show you guys. Bring it back here. Nice. All right, guys, I'm back. I love this little nano quad, man. I mean, it's smooth, responsive, really stable. A lot of fun. I mean, you can fly this thing with your phone. You can use a remote if you want. You can just fold it up, put it in your pocket. Bring the remote, bring the phone alone. It's awesome. I got to get more practice with that, uh, with the phone thing. I, I broke a prop. <laughs> So anyways, yeah, and it's durable. I crashed the thing a few times, thought it was done, but it's not. So anyways, um, love this thing. So I'll leave a link for you guys. You guys can check it out if you want. And I'll see you guys on the next one, all right?